And here's why. Trichomes are the plant's armor and perfume all in one. Think of them like little crystal shields. As the plant gets closer to finishing, it knows its life cycle is almost over. So it doubles down, pumping out more resin to protect what matters most, the flowers. Those trichomes work like sunscreen under the grow lights, shielding delicate flower tissue from too much UV. At the same time, there's sticky traps, keeping away bugs, mold, and anything that might threaten the buds. And then there's the terpenes, the smells, the flavors packed inside, which are like the plant's final flare drawing attention in nature pollinators but in our case they're the reason the room smells so loud so by week seven the plant is in full survival mode building more and more trichomes because it's protecting his legacy and the result for us that thick frosty coat that makes the buds look dipped in sugar here we are in week eight and the plants are looking absolutely beautiful the whole tent is fading out leaves showing their final colors and the buds are swelling to perfection Perfect. given the hot conditions we deal with here in the 702 these girls really had to work but even with the desert here Keep pushing them they came out strong stacking trichomes building weight and finishing with that loud aroma that fills up the room right now they're only getting fresh purified water flushing out clean preparing for harvest you can see it they've given us everything put in all that work and now it's time to hit the finish line everything came together perfectly and next up it's time to chop at this point we're just letting them coast through the last week and when i say week eight I mean, let them finish out that week completely, not just the start of it. I want the plant to have the full week to do their thing before the harvest. And here's something different I do. In the final 24 to 48 hours, instead of giving them complete darkness, like a lot of growers used to do, I go the opposite route. I give them full light. Back in the day, it was common practice to shut the lights off before harvest. The idea that made the buds frostier. But research, especially Dr. Bruce Bugsy, showed us something important. The plant actually photosynthesizes trichomes and terpenes during the day, not at night. Light is the energy that drives resin and terpene production. So if you leave them in the dark, you're not building anything new. At best, you're just preserving what's already there. So in that final stretch, I run that light 24 to 48 hours, giving every last chance to push out a little more resin and terpene content. Then once that's done, it's time to chop chop. 